close. We have a lot going on this week, so listen closely. We have maths testing in K through three on Monday. We have a coffee truck all day. We have the T-ball tryouts for first, or kindergarten through first, three through 4.30. And then first pitch for second and third grade at 4.30 through 5.45. Also, if you want to come and join the cross-country team, tryouts are on Monday, too. On Tuesday, we continue the math testing. Tune up Tuesday, be ready, teachers. Uh, middle school assemblies behaviors for the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. They're going to be six, uh, for the 6th grade at 9 o'clock. 7th grade is going to be at 10 o'clock. And 8th grade is going to wait till 2. So we have the behavior assemblies in the MP room. For my... Um, Parents will have this sports meeting. So if you got on any of those teams, you need to come down at 6 p.m. for the sports meetings, um, including if you got on a team earlier, such as volleyball or um, football. So you'll be coming for those. So Tuesday, come out for all those sports. And then Wednesday is a half day for all you students. So you're gonna leave at 11.45. It's a grab and go lunch. But my teachers have to stay on campus because there's good things planned for the teachers. Um, it's also Sunshine Cart Day. So for my teachers, please tell your new friends about the Sunshine Cart. On Thursday, no PLC's teachers, but hey, Panda Express is on campus. Bring your money. I think it's $7 now. It went up just a little bit. And then Friday. Friday is the day for everybody to bring money for food. We have... In the morning, donuts from Krispy Kreme. We have Chick-fil-A for lunch and Kona ice for a snack. How much better can you get? So, matter bonanza, come to school on Friday, if not any other day, right? We're here, we're here for you. Um, and that is the end of our week. Uh, kinder students will have a peak meeting too on Friday, so parents can come in for that as well, for just kindergarten. Thanks and have a great week. Oh, I need to tell you too, new for the middle school, Wednesday will be a C day, so a C schedule. So check with your teachers to see what the C schedule is. You're gonna go to all your classes, just a short form. Thanks so much, have a great day. Welcome to Jokes with Jen. Ms. Jackson, I think you're gonna like this one. What is Mickey Mouse's favorite cake? What? Cheesecake. <laughs> Welcome back to this week's Little Sports Corner. We have our football teams and our volleyball teams set. Uh, rosters have been trimmed. They're starting their first practices Monday all week. They have all our competitive games mostly begin September 10th, Saturday, September 10th. We are still waiting for all those schedules to be released. We will be hosting volleyball some days during the midweek, uh, tentatively Wednesday or Thursdays now, but that is to be determined, and definitely we are hosting a lot of games on Saturdays for our T-ball teams. T-ball, they have tryouts coming up Monday and Tuesday on the field, and we have cross country with uh, Mr. Portman, same days, Monday and Tuesday. Everybody that did not make their teams for it, volleyball or football should try to look to go to cross country, meaning it's the philosophy that you need to be in shape for any sport you do. And cross country is a good way to cross train for any sport that you might not be in right now, especially soccer players. You need to be in shape for soccer. Run cross country. We need athletes to run and compete eventually, but not right away, meaning we're looking for any student from third grade to eighth grade, male or female, that can complete a mile, and then a competitive mile time. But that's what we do for cross country, all right? It's you against 100 other runners at your age, and you guys are running the same distance. That's what cross country competition's like. Again, Mr. Portman, you guys wanna reach out for him on Monday and Tuesday, definitely get out there. All right, I am Mr. Little, and I am out.